Hi. So I'm going to show you some do's and don'ts. Lately, I don't know what's been going on with the trimming of these bags. We don't need them to cut to be perfect, but we do need them to be cut in somewhat decent three inch strips. And these are just not going to do it. Also, the knots, I've been having to undo each knot and retie the knots. And it's just so much quicker if I just tie the bags myself. So let me show you what I mean about the knots. I think mostly the problem is coming when you're doing the T-knots. So when you do the T-knots and you bring them, it's so hard to get the perfect knot. And so a lot of them are like this. And these are bad knots. Um, bad knots. So also what is happening is we're getting them uneven. So we got it tight here and it's loose here. So that means we have to keep undoing the knots, untying the knots, and making sure that we pull them so they're nice and even. And we got a nice little tiny knot. So that's the proper knot. This knot will sort of do, but it's still not right. I mean, you got all this excess in the way. So I would have to undo each knot, which is very time consuming. And then I would have to repull it and make sure they're even. But then I, so let me show you what is causing the bad cutting of the strips. If the bags are not lined up from the edges, the bottom edges, and they're like different positions. You know, you got one there, one there, and they're all over the place and they're not lined up right. Then they can't be cut right. So what happens is the tops aren't being cut off enough so that I, if I go and cut off about right here where the bottom bag is guiding me to cut a lot of these bags did not get cut right and so what happens is when there's a strip like a three inch strip they're not really three inch strips they're really messed up strips and they're just going to be tossed away so what I ask is if you line up probably four bags at the most, make sure the bottoms are all nice and even. Probably fold them over in thirds. If you're going to use scissors, try your best to get one or two solid cuts versus like cutting you know too many times because then it starts getting very raggedy at the ends so you kind of want to make sure even if you fold it over and force wear you get one good slice and it really helps to have a decent pair of scissors um i find using a rotary blade works a little better and I'm making sure I cut off a good inch so that I'm making sure that every single one of those four bags is being cut off. And you got nice, nice um, strips. So I also see this where with the rotary, you know, people are going up and down, up and down, up and down. And that leaves these little fraying things. 
and that the crocheters can't have either. So they will just be tossed away. So if you can, please just do one quick slice. So it's nice and clean. Let's, let's do this one. One, one slice is going to be guaranteed that it's going to be a nice clean cut. Cut off the bottoms. That you don't want to do, which is a reason why you do need good scissors. Because if you have bad, dull scissors, you're going to need to do it in several cuts. So a good pair of scissors and you do one slice. One slice. Now, if you have a bag that, let me grab a bag. Okay, let's say you have your four bags and you're folding them in half to do your cutting. That's too hard or almost impossible to do one cut. You have to do several cuts. And you're not having, you know, you're leaving these little haystacks or whatever you want to call them. So go ahead and fold it up in fours so that you can do one cut one cut so now when you go to tie the bags I grab I'm right-handed so I'll grab this loop with my left hand and I have this hole here I'm going to I'll use a brown one so you you can see it a lot better. I'm going to put this brown one on the top and I'm going to push it through with my thumb. I'm making sure that this loop is around each side of my thumb and I'm going to keep my thumb in the hole to keep the hole wide open so it slides through easily. Before I pull it tight then I'll take my thumb out and I have the nice, perfect knot. Nice and even. Grab it with my left hand. Put the gray one on top of the brown one and I'm going to push it through the hole with my left thumb. The gray loop is around both sides of my thumb. I'm leaving my thumb right there. I'm keeping the hole open wide so it can pull through. Now before I pull it tight, I'll take my thumb out, but I'm going to hold this knot here while I pull it. This will make sure that these both are going to be nice and even. Perfect knot, nice and even. I don't have something that looks like that. They're both nice and even. Nice and even. Hold it with my left hand. We'll put a brown one on top of the hole and I'm going to push it through with my left thumb. Loop is open. I'm going to bring it out, leave my thumb there. Now I'll take my thumb out, hold this knot, and pull it tight. Perfect little knots. Now the crocheters do like the balls to be all one color. I'm just giving you an example of gray and brown so that you can see it better of what I'm actually doing. So my left hand is grabbing the gray loop, making sure it's nice and even. I have the hole there, pushing the brown one on top and I'm pushing it through with my thumb. 
with my left thumb. My thumb is staying right there. I take it out, grab this knot, and pull it. So, there you have it. And then we just make our ball.